Hi YouTube, good morning. So if you've seen it, there's a big change in Fidel Garage. Uh, well, I guess a couple. So uh, we moved, got a house. As soon as we moved in the house, uh, hit after hit with uh, repairs and things. So haven't been doing much. Uh, tools are staying pretty cold, not getting worked. Um, thing number two, uh, before the move, my back was getting to the point where it shot. It's still pretty bad. Got surgery at the end of the month, so. Uh, we'll see where that brings us. Hopefully, we're right back to life and kicking and building. Uh, thing number three, I keep looking out there because it's still kind of shocking. This is, uh, this is what happened yesterday. Yeah. It's nice. It's not the ML. ML just got traded. Traded you guys straight up. Uh, my 01 ML430, 180 something thousand miles. This is an 05. Lexus GX 470 with also 185,000 maybe 187 I gotta look at it again I'm gonna show you guys the inside but anyways it's got the uh, 4.7 v8 all-wheel drive locking center diff low range and already soon probably not but uh man it is in just great great condition gave it a nice hand wash yesterday and man it really just brought the paint right back it's it's pretty damn nice <clears throat> so you guys are probably saying <clears throat> excuse me probably saying john why in the hell would you get a lexus over your lifted mercedes well because it's not lifted for one thing and i'm having you know a lot of issues hopping up in that mercedes um thing number two is it was uh well been on this side <laughs> it wasn't getting used properly i hate building something and not utilizing it not to knock on the jeep guys not let's say this not to knock on the jeep guys that actually go out and wheel their shit but to all the rest of them the other 90 percent of you people out there that um drive jeeps with lifts, big tires, all everything you can find in the Jeep store to bolt onto it. It's more of an art project. It looks like a third grader built it than, a, than an actual functional rig. <laughs> Rant over. I was comparing myself to those guys uh, because I did have a bunch of shit. It was all functional, but I'm not. I'm not using it. So what's the difference, right? I'm sitting out there driving this thing and it's never even touching dirt because there's nowhere around here. Um, I can't do all the off-road bombing and shit that I used to do. Uh, it just, it's too painful for the back. Um, and I mean, I just wanted to see it go to a good home. The guy contacted me and he's like, hey, do you want to trade for a Lexus GX470? I'm like, if anything, I'm looking for a pickup. But... He was very adamant. He showed up all the way from like two hours away, brought the Lexus, and I was like, damn, it's actually pretty clean. We test drove both things. He seemed just as happy as me. Uh, I mean, I knew what a Lexus was. I've had uh, I've had the, the sister car to this, I guess. Um, we had an 05 Forerunner Limited V8, all the shit. Same, not same color, but it was white. It's not this nice pearl white. But I mean, same Prado chassis and everything. So they, they ride really similarly. Um, this one, the, I forget the, the acronym for it, but the, the air suspension, somebody's already gotten rid of it. Uh, gone to just normal coil springs in the back, um, which I think actually rides better. It's kind of a missing feature, but I mean, no more of that stuff going on. But it does make it ride I, I, I think better, man, because that, that Forerunner we had, that thing was all over the place. 
when you take corners <clears throat> it seemed like it rolled pretty bad um so besides all the positives that you can you know i can sit here all day with them uh it's quicker to go over the short list which is negatives um what was it um dash crack that's one thing i i found uh was pretty prevalent in these and there's a thousand fixes and they all look like crap the only thing to do is just replace the damn thing um but that's that's down the road if you know if i have it six months from now um i might look into that sound system sound system is a uh what is it mark levinson mark levinson you suck uh, the sound system's terrible it sounds like paper i've heard better factory systems in a fucking 96 grand prix this is a lexus like what the hell and it's got all these all these spots for speakers i think in the mark levinson system it's only a speaker here i don't know if there's something there so don't don't blame me and then a tweeter up here i know that's in there when i can see it but <clears throat> Like I said, not an expert on this thing at all. I'm just doing my research, due diligence, and uh, there's like this cool ass entire screen you can replace this with. There's a couple different models. There's ones with like a a break in here, so you can replace things without. I don't know. Doing all the actual uh, functions of the vehicle. Definitely want to keep all that stuff there. Well, not there, but I want to keep that all those functional because remember we're, we're function over form here um i don't have bluetooth so that sucks that, that's my my functionality and don't really listen to the radio much uh so there's that uh and i'm staring at the center of the screen and looking at the ac ac works just not great um with these windows tinted as dark as they are man pretty nice um, it should be super cold. It's not really. So basic fix for that is checking the level. So I've got a buddy with a shop. We'll put it on the machine and, uh, it'll cost like a hundred bucks just to get the system vacuumed and, uh, recharged at the exact correct level. Cause some of these systems are very finicky about, uh, what level they're at if you pop one of those cans on there you might fix it or you might overcharge it and make it worse but man yeah this thing is um it's definitely clean it's real nice there's a little bit of rust um on the uh sunroof frame so at some point i'll get a uh oh shit get a lost my train of thought get a thing a brush something to remove the rust and then you know uh put some paint over it so hopefully it'll stay rust free or it won't you know continue the cancer here's the rest of it nice and clean i mean this is a 05 so it is it's pretty dang clean man. and the seats are cool they uh They recline recline that's the back seats it's pretty fucking cool oh it's got a <clears throat> some funky early 2000s stuff down here oh, shit where you can uh, plug in your rear audio in case you wanted to listen to it on headphones which uh, might definitely sound better than the speakers so, Maybe that's why that's there, because I knew their speakers were shooting me. And this is cool. I've never had an SUV with a door for a tailgate. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, got all sorts of cargo room. Uh, didn't come with third seats. Uh, it's fine with me, because I would have taken them out just like I did the Mercedes. These things are like pretty alike. Um, what I'm trying to say is we had the same mileage, all-wheel drive, V8. Like 
everything was the same besides this just being four years yeah four years newer and completely untouched where mine had lots of stuff done to it so I got the niceness now and he's got the functionality so it was a it's a pretty good trade I mean I don't know if these are stock tire size but they're like 31 and a half 275s yeah oh sorry 265 70 17s well all trains I think he said he got them off a uh, off a fifth gen forerunner but and it's pretty clean um i would show you the frame but it is you know i'll just do this hopefully you guys can see it i can't get down that low again not this damn early in the morning biggest thing with these cars is the frame rust not a speck i already got under there and looked once i ain't doing it again i know there ain't no rust in there but uh welcome the lexus to the fleet um don't know if we're keeping it i would like to honestly it's um it's better than that <laughs> i love the land rover she's a beast she got us all the way here nearly 400 fucking horsepower it's fast it looks good it's classy everything works i just put a new um cooling fan in it and everything so Man, I don't know. Might trade it in. Or might trade that in. And so which one's gotta go? I, I don't know. I can't make a decision. Uh, it's kinda hard. Uh, love the Land Rover. Love the Lexus. Need a truck. Let me know in the comments down below what you would choose. Which one you would keep. Which one you'd set sail in. Uh, so anyways. John Infidel Garage. Hopefully we'll be back to building and shit here in a couple months. Just wanted to give you guys an update to what's been going on, uh, what I'm up to. Uh, let me know what your projects are. All right, catch you guys later. Keep them dirty.